Squadron leader Ellie Hugerworth, a great welcome back to Ham. Nice to see you here again, Ellie. Zero goaler. At number two, wing commander Vicky Woodhead, another returning pilot. And uh, number three, yet another one, Ed Whitechurch, wing commander too. Well done, Ed. Nice to see you back. And at back, talking of backs, the uh, honorary member of the team, Will Healy, who is a private uh, pilot. I'm not sure he's allowed in Bomber Command, but we're going to see him doing a few polo bombs this afternoon. I see Manu has arrived. He's the back Manu Perez Altuna of the ham team. So I'm going to call them forward at number one, board member Mark Hallam, minus one, with his lovely family always here at ham. At uh, number two, the same applies, Mark Sheldon, board member, a man who knows all about human resources. And we're going to see his polo resources uh, on show in this great match. And Mark deserves a huge thanks for the relations with the RAF because he maintains that relationship of visiting their uh, site up in uh, Lincolnshire. Hugo Montgomery, zero goaler. At number three, come forward please, Hugo. And at uh, back, Manuel Perez Altuna, the man with the red hat, the man with the red hot hit, and the man who keeps the ham team together. I can't remember, that's it man, it's slow motion, Andy F, our brilliant timekeeper. And the ball goes in, first one to react as Hugo Montgomery pushes it out towards the picnic side. He's uh, shadowed there by Will Healy playing in the RAF team's blue shirts. Very nice colour it is too. And it's backed by Hugo Montgomery, a bit of a melee on the far side. Can't quite see who's got the ball. Coming back the other way, Will Healy and a whistle. Not that Will Healy's got a whistle. See, defended, penalty 60 yarder. Scuffs it, I think he can go one more time. It's nicked away from him by Hugo Montgomery, who pumps it up. Pumping up the action, Manu's on it and Manu's out front all on his own. And although he can go all the way, he leaves that ball behind for Edward Church, who backs it round. Vicky Woodhead tries to get there, but it's still with the uh, Hampton. Nice play by Mark Hallam, he's ridden out now. By Ellie Wood Woodenhalf, Booth rather, and uh, there's a lot of hoops out there, but Ellie is the best of the lot. Right, Hugo Montgomery on the boards. That near side forehand, that's a difficult shot. Ed Whitchurch giving him grief. Nice grief, of course. It is Ellie Wung Hu. Now, Mark, they're all in there. Everybody's got a piece of the action. Mark Hallam takes it across, scuffs it slightly. It bounces up difficult for him to play that shot. But he's backed by Mark Sheldon, who uh, takes it over to the pizza wagon on the far side. If you want a pizza, chaps, there's your chance. Okay, Hugo Montgomery on the charge with Ed Whitchurch on him, stride by stride, side by side, and it's uh, Will Healy into action. The umpire. The third person only call into action whenever the uh, umpire is uncertain. And the view from up here in the commentary box affords us the opportunity to see exactly what's going on. It's a bit of a melee in front of the goal there. Raf closing down now, man is taking it around. Safety net. Pro, two goal pro. All the way from Buenos Aires now. That's a great ball to Hugo Montgomery. He's on that line. Will is battling him, trying to put him off, and it works brilliantly. Ed Wichers backs it very nicely. Now that's Ellie and Vicky. Playing as a team is what the RAF does. And there's a whistle, and I think the line of that ball determined. Um, but he's got range anxiety. Been like all the electric car owners. Edward Church bashes it out, but it's not going to phase Mark Hallam. And there's another whistle, and this way. Well, the, uh, 
the British Aerospace Rolls-Royce technology that we employ here, backed by Tesla on that scoreboard, sometimes doesn't quite step up to the mark. It is the same technology used on the scoreboards on the astute submarine, so we're led to believe it will work. Now that's right in front of goal. This might work. And it's through, and the goal judge lifts that white flag aloft. And uh, we're joined by the president up in the commentary box. Uh, anybody who can turn up the sound on the uh, down? No, up, please. Down and the members. Chris has just asked it to go up. Absolutely. Is it pouring inside? Is it too noisy? I can't speak. Good heavens, well, I'm confused. Some people want the noise to go up, some people want it down. I will whisper. Pitched in the wrong place. I will whisper and hope that uh, I don't wake up anybody who's having a slumber. Right, they're stuck on those boards. Until everybody at the club being stuck on the board is not a great place to be. I'm not sure that they understand what I mean, but I'm talking about the polo, of course. You might get your tail stuck. Right, uh, that looks like Edward Church down in the corner over by the gate. Sounds a bit like a poem, doesn't it? Down in the corner over by the engineer, gate. technician, specialist, professional. Please, could you check the sound system? Make sure the people in the clubhouse are not being blown off of their chairs. He sure does. Uh, look at this. Doesn't let the commentator down by any stretch. And that is a stretch because the ref guys have got a stretch for it. They get it back. Turn round there. And he's Ugaworth. Being chased by Manu. Going beautifully there, down that far side, ridden out by Mark Sheldon, he's going to back it out. The man who helps connect us with the raft. The man who is there to sweep up, to direct his team and tell them where they should be, and that's a beautiful ball forward. Very nice. Hugo Montgomery. Mark Hallam, Mark Sheldon. Giving it all they've got for the ham team. Nice hit across there by Edward Church. But it's too far for the, his ref teammates to get to it. And Mark Hannon brings it across the boards on the clubhouse side. Got a bit of a cut shot to do, but it's a bit tight on that board. Still manages it. Back beautifully by Hugo Montgomery. That's good playing on the line. Mark Sheldon, and it falls too. Either Will Healy, Eddie Hoogerworth, or... Manu. Apologies if it's noisy in the clubhouse. Now Mark uh, Sheldon's got uh, Posse behind him. Near side back attempt. Didn't quite catch it. That looks like... Is that Ellie or... Vicky, I think. The two up front ladies there. Let's go back the other way now. Manu is out on the field on a charge. Not the sort of military charge you can be put on. He's still got the ball. Shadowed by Will Healy. They've got 30 second round. Backed up brilliantly by Mark Hallam. Overstretched slightly. That's a nice backhand there by the Raff. And Will Healy's on it like a shot. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely, lovely hit forward. And Hugo Montgomery, not quite sure. What's he going to do? Move in on Will or let him... Oh, that's, a, that's going towards the goal. Is that in? Oh, it's slightly out to the left. It's not quite out. It's still bobbling on that line. And that is your count. Defended. Penalty. 5C. Sorry, 5A. And that is hit beautifully forward by the RF. And it's stopped right on the line by Manu. It was running out of steam anyway. He made sure it didn't bobble through that goal. So Ham maintained their lead, but only just. The RAF guys are on the case. It's great to have the team here, as I say. We've got uh, Air Commodores and Air Vice Commodores and various dignitaries from the RAF here today. 
too numerous to mention, of course. So they're all most welcome to have. Speakers out this side. Is it? Jeez. Right. Mark Hallam tries a backhand, it goes towards the goal. Has it got the legs? It probably hasn't. It's there though in front of the goal. Can Manu snaffle it under the neck? He does and, oh, I'm not sure, the goal judge. Well, it, it, but the Raf are playing that way now. They'd be playing the other way if, they hadn't, if they'd scored. Yeah, two, it's 2-0, it's two isn't it? Okay, I'm corrected, it's 1-1. I don't know if the commentary is, if the mic is working. I fear it isn't, and a lot of people are delighted it isn't. My voice may carry, oh, that is now working again. Gosh. Up, down, with the mic. Up, down, the field of play, and I'm reliably informed, hugely reliably informed, that it is 1-all, not 2-0. Which is good news for the rap. Great shot, that is a magnificent hit, but it didn't go between the posts. Right, Will Healy bringing it out for the RAF team. Henri, RAF polo team member. Edward Church on the boards. Harry Hassel, I think that's Mark Sheldon giving him a bit of bit of a polo winging. Mark's got to get out of the way. And they're yeah, very critically for his team. Pushes it down. Mark Sheldon riding ahead of him and there's a huge whistle. Want to get that close to the goal. He'll send Ellie and uh, Vicky Woodhead up towards the goal to try and capitalise on that punt. And he's got it right in front of the goal and I think that's carried. That is the mark on this very hot afternoon here at Ham. And it goes flying through. Vicky Woodhead, the number two. Manu bustles her out. Neat little uh, chip across with the uh, near side forehand. And he's got the uh, his eye in, and he knows where the uh, other, oh, that's great play. Hugo, he knew exactly where Hugo was, and Hugo knew where to be. Will he try and stop it? A cut shot under the net. Can he do it? Oh, I can't see where that's going. No flags. Oh, he just out to the left on the head. Well, we're not going back to uh, peeling spuds. They might do that on, uh, what do they call it, Yankers or Jankers in the military. But we don't do that anymore. How Polo Club, it's been Polo since about 1960. Heavens, over 60 years of Polo on this ground. Incredible. About the time we, uh, we watered it, actually. No, I'm joking. It's been brilliantly watered by Marcus and his grounds team to try and keep the play going. It's amazing how the weather in this country. They say we talk about the weather, but it's no surprise. Is it one minute it's cold, the next minute it's uh, hot, then rain, then snow. God knows what. Anyway, it is a slightly hard pitch, but good play by the teams. The rap team, Will Healy, pushes forward. I think that's, uh, is that Ellie or is that Vicky? I think it's Vicky Woodhead out on a charge. Mark Hannah back to see if he can stop that happening. I don't think he can. And Ellie is, is that Ellie or is that, is that number one? I think it is. Right in front of goal, look at that brilliant hit. Goal judge, what happened there? That is the end of the second of the these four chuck rising at the beginning of the third chucker. Thank you everybody for treading in and don't forget, don't walk in that uh, safety zone between the boards and the uh, driveway. Look at that. Forward hit by Will Healy. Can his teammates get onto it? Will Healy, Healy comes through. Blasting through. He scores a great goal. I'm sure it's around 100 years old. We're pretty much the same age. Look at this great play. Oh, wonderful. Sadly, for I think that was Ellie. Squadron leader, Hoogleworth, over on the boards. Mark Sheldon is there first. Can't get it, it's picked up by Hugo. In height design, obviously, not to trip Bernie. So look at that, it's a great play by Will Healy once more in front of goal, doing his best for his beloved RAF team. And has that gone in? It has. The flag is raised. The storms. Met office told us we're going to suffer thunderstorms today. That ten billion pound investment in their supercomputer. They should have gone the Chat GPT or whatever it is, or GTP. 
machine learning, artificial intelligence, call it what you will, could have saved a few bob. But who knew? Right, Will Healy playing marvellous this afternoon. Marvellous polo. Backs it. What a great backhand that is. And then Witcher on the charge. Out. Seeing what he needed to do. Backed up by Vicky Woodhead. She unwittingly pushes it out to Manu. Manu. Perez Altuna with the red hat. Not the red mist. Although he did miss. And now he's got it again. How very clever of Manu, oh, as he's affectionately known by all of us at Ham. Not sure the affection stretches to the rap team at this minute. Look at that in front of goal. It's kind of hit a pin, bang a tail. That's a great shot. Brilliant. I think that's Mark Hallam. Or is it Mark Sheldon? I think it's Mark Sheldon. There used to be a restaurant called Peter in the Park. I don't know if it's still there. Anyway, who cares? What matters is the great polo. Look at that. It's polo in the park, but it's the real park. Good play there, Mark Hallam down on the boards. Can he get that? Yes, he can. That's nice play. That's great. On track, on line, yes. Is that going to carry? Can he nip that in? Oh, what a shame. That was just a linear struggle with the electronics. Okay, so Will Healy once more. Likes that lurch out to the board and up and down. It's a trademark. Play by Will. It was nice to see him coming through the middle of that last goal by the Raf. Mark Sheldon guarding the gate and he backs it just enough and Hugo Montgomery can do the same. It doesn't fool the Raf team though and Ellie Hugo Wirth is oh it's nicked away. Her pocket is picked and that's a great hoof forward by uh, Manu, backed again, Ed Whitchurch, it is all hands to the pump, everybody's involved, it's great to see everybody involved, that's lovely polo, the line is a bit sort of hit and miss, you can't quite pick it out, they need a bit more space, but it is nonetheless competitive polo at its best here at Ham Polo Club, Will Healy, Tells them, go forward, chaps. Go forward, not multiply, but score. Right, that's a good hit forward. Has it got the legs? It may have, it may not have. Marshall, no, Mark Hallam tries to stick out. And it may be Vicky. Oh, what a shame. It hits the woodwork in action. Gets traction. Hugo Montgomery with the reaction. Too far. Will Healy. What's he going to do? He's going to send it back the other way. I know. It's sort of written in the stars. Who's this? It looks like it could be Ed Whitchurch. Nice cut shot round. Fabulous play being written out there. Van Boozley the play by Mark Sheldon. Backs it not very nicely. Cuts out the danger. And Manu now has got space time and a lot on field in front of him. But Will charging forward. The bell goes. They've still got 30 seconds left. Will playing his heart out. He loves playing for the Raf. Needs to be careful on that. They'll dragoon him in as a fighter pilot if he's not careful. I mean, of course, it'll be an honour. But uh... okay, I think that's Ed Whitchurch over there. The old commentator's eyes, the spectator, spectator's lens is not quite as good. Is it some other emporia? That is the second bell, and it's fine. Oh, it's a royal. No, it's a royal. Earlier, whistle. It seems that Polo in the Park is very popular, but it's only a weekend, and we are all season long. Five glorious months of Polo giving you every chance to come and enjoy this great exhibition. Oh, she's growing. Show. Really. Show really. Beautiful show. Oh. These Wonderful horses. What about that? Oh. oh, that was the best hit. But it went wide. A bit like me, should have gone to Specsavers. Sorry, Manu, you don't miss many. It's the other way around with me, I miss them all. Okay, so we don't miss is our motto. 
we only miss the polo when it's not on. Great backhand, sadly into the uh, into the melee. Picked up by Mark Sheldon, and there's another whistle in our teeth. And it's not only his horse's bit, it's in his sense as well. Edward Church, Hugo Montgomery tries to hassle him out. Bit of hassling and hustling. Does you no harm in polo. You're allowed to write people off. Sort of thing you can't get off, uh, away with in other spheres of life. Except for politics, of course. And uh, Will's got it once more. And he's pushing the ball forward in front of the goal. Can one of his teammates get to it? It's going to be a sort of millionaire shot. Oh, somebody there on the line and it bobbles in. And that is one more goal. One more goal. Working as a team. Right, well, Healy backs it beautifully. That's clever. Tuck and turn. Nip, tuck and turn. And it's Ellie. Hugenworth, back by Vicky Woodhead, I think that is. Yes, nice near side forehand, that's great. Can she do one more? Yes, she can. Wonderful goal. Oh, they're rubbing it in now. Okay, so what's happening here? It looks as though Raph have got it one more time. The clock is ticking down with the glare of the sun, despite the Elon Musk. Tesla screaming of those scoreboards. Uh, can't quite pick it out, it's about three and a half minutes to go. Not much time to get back from 6-2 down. Uh, but they're going to try, and so they should, and that's what it's about. Don't give up. The Japanese say, Gambarimas. Gambatimas. Do your best. Uh, but that wasn't really quite the best. Will Healy, look at that. He sends his teammate flying into action. That is the, what the RAF are about. They're great at flying, and that is, I think that's their Whitchurch. Keep flying, Ed. Keep going. Don't get up. Brilliant. What a great hit towards that goal. One step from heaven under the net. No, couldn't quite do it. Would have been uh, through the legs. The body would have been the millionaire shot. A man who responds like a man, like a demon, a red hatted demon. And still, RAF in the ascendancy, dominating in front of that goal. Can she get it in? That's great. Is that Ellie? I think it was not quite. Man is there, feeling the pitch, feeling the pressure. Feeling he needs to do something because they're, they're two and a bit minutes away from the end of the chucker. And it's 6-2 and that's not where Ham wanted to be. Oh dear, that bounced cruelly for Manu. Good play there by Edward Church. Great backhand. Man is back again. He is playing like a man possessed. Oh, is it gone? No, I think it didn't. Go forward, it's left the gap. And the RAF guys fill it. Oh, everybody getting a bit tired. Oh, that's a nice hit forward. I think that's Vicky Woodhead. I can't quite see, and that looks. Was it the uh, Ellie and Vicky playing? Oh, it's gone out wide, and that's okay. Manu in action. Well, look at that. That's a that's a hit. Five eights. Good play by Hugo Montgomery, and that's a hit in seven eights. Good heavens! Will doesn't want him to get there first. Come on, Will. give him a chance. We know that the RAF can destroy the enemy. They're not there. Okay, so it's Manu once more, playing like he means it. And he does mean it, he's in front of goal, he's within range. Is he going to put that in? He pops it forward. Dingo, dongo, bingo, bongo, it's in. Wow! What a great goal by Manu's fabulous Raf versus Ham Polo Club challenge match.